new part. Check my units. They're set to inch, pounds, and seconds. That's what I want. Um, and then this part I'm going to create the metal band. So I'll start with a extruded boss or extru extruded base and I'm going to extrude it in this plane. Notice I've not created the sketch yet. SolidWorks will allow you to create the sketch after choosing the solid feature you want to create. That That's an optional way to do it. You can either create the sketch first or you can create it as after you've selected the feature you're trying to create. So I want this dimension to be 0.3. Check. Return. And now I want to extrude it symmetrically, so I'll go to mid-plane. And that dimension is approximately one half inch, so I'll make it half inch long and check. All right. Now I need this feature to have some ridges running around the perimeter of the surface, so I'll go and create those with a revolved solid. I'm going to create a sketch in order to do that, um, and so I need to sketch in the either in the top plane or the front plane. I'll choose the front plane and I want to use the space bar, go normal to the front plane, and now I'm going to make a little arc to represent one of the ridges running around the middle part. So I'll do a three-point arc here, here, and there's fine. Okay, check. Now I need to have a center line. And I want that line to be a construction line. It's going to be the axis of revolution. And I'm going to close my profile. And I'm going to add dimensions. And that, now that my profile is defined, I will return from sketch. And now I can create the revolved solid using this button. And that sketch was already selected, so SolidWorks went on and assumed that that hidden line or that construction line rather was the axis of revolution and has brought these options up. So I'm happy with those so I'll hit check and now I'm ready to pattern this feature. So I'll go into linear pattern and it's asking me for a pattern direction and I want to pattern this along the axis of that cylinder so I'm going to show this sketch and I'm going to choose this axis of revolution as my direction. Okay. Now that shows the result of this pattern. We have five entities. They are spaced on a point one spacing and we could modify those to suit us. I'm just going to accept these. Um, you can also, there are many options down here for skipping occurrences and that sort of thing. But I'm going to accept that as it is. And at this point, I want to hollow this out and make it thin like the actual metal part. 
So in order to do that, I will use a shell. And I want to shell outward. In this field, we need to put the faces that we would like to be open. So I want this face to be open. And I want this face to be open. And I'm going to shell it at, I don't know, let's say 30 thousandths. So point zero three and check and that's what it looks like. So looks like maybe that's too thick. So I'll go in and modify that. Edit feature. Let's let that be ten thousandths. Check and I'm a little bit happier with that. So now I can save this part. I'll save it as pencil metal and I will create the eraser part. 